Ladies and gentlemen, so in today's day and age, what a lot of people like to do is what we'll call wear a public mask, which is the person that they want other people to think that they really are. When in actuality, <clears throat> and everybody has different sides to them, sure. But we're living in a world where it's like people really want others to believe that that's really who they are and like that's it when it's just not true for example and I've said it a million times as I'm doing these videos this is such a small piece of who I am as a person these videos the stuff that I teach on this channel to you guys is not who I am like, yeah, that's Terry Joel Jr. That's who he is. No. It's a piece of me. There's different sides to every single one of us. If you guys see me doing different things, you're going to see different types of attitudes from me. This is a mode. It's not... It, it's not... I was about to say it's not real life. It is real life, but it's not who I am all in all. There's different sides to us. But people today, they like to wear a public mask because they want people to think that that's who they are. I try to explain to you guys time and time again in the comments section in certain videos that this is not like you guys would be surprised to actually see me in person, like to see who I really am. Because right now this is a mode. This is teach mode. This is not a mode to laugh and joke around and whatever. There's a time and a place for everything. But. I'm doing this video mainly because I don't want you guys thinking that the public mass that people wear is actually who they are. The same with social media. You can't. That's not who people really is. It could be a small piece of them. Who they are in public, who they show you could be a small piece of them. But to really get to know somebody is something completely different. To actually know somebody, you have to spend an immense amount of time around them in many different situations to really to really see who somebody really is. You can't people judge me off these videos, oh yeah, this is who he is. It's not a hundred percent who I am. It's a piece of me. The same with you guys. You guys have different pieces of you, who you are at specific times doing whatever you're doing. Let's say you're in the gym working out. Let's say you're in school, in class, you're a different person. Your modes shift in your mind. It's time to do this, it's time to do that. In class, you relax. You're in learning mode. You have to be switched on at different times. When you're in the gym, you're not sitting there relaxed all calm and stuff waiting for your muscles to grow and expand no you're in the gym you're in this kill mode you're in this aggressive mode that's how i am in the gym i walk into the gym ready for war with the weights i'm prepared because i know it's going to be tough i know it's going to be hard so i walk in there like determined switched on focused clenching my teeth sometimes intense because I know what I'm about to do it's a lot it's a lot so there's like different things <clears throat> there's different intensities sometimes I can completely fool around with people and we could be laughing our heads off sometimes I could be serious just like I am right now explaining certain things to somebody trying to get a point across this is a part of me it's not all of me the same thing with the, these people in public who wear these public masks they want you to think that that's who they are when there's so many different other sides to them that you're not seeing. And that's the whole point of this video. They are not who you think. That's why a lot of people, they might, they might be in high school, they might have had success here or there with certain people, but then it's like these people were the winners in high school and all of a sudden, after high school, they're the losers. 
because what they did the entire time was wear this public mask to make people believe and think that there's something that they're not. So when it's done, they're done. Their time's up. And this is just how it goes. Like, we need to understand when it comes to people. <clears throat> if you're any bit smart, you will understand what I'm saying to begin with. And if you really want to get to know people, you have to spend a lot of time around them. They're not who you think as soon as they come up to you. They're not who you think if you're around a whole bunch of people and you're together. When it's just you and them, you're going to see the most of who they really are. And that is the truth. In these videos, it's just me and you right now. It's me and all you guys. You're going to see a big piece of who I am. In these videos, I believe it's, it's a decent piece of who I am. But you don't see all of it. You're not going to see my easier side too often. You're not. You're not going to. You know. You know. There's. There's different sides to everybody. You have to spend time around people to actually get to know who they are. And I think a lot of people are not doing that today. I think social media plays a big factor in people not doing this. I think a lot of things are going on today that. It's just messing a lot of things up. A lot of people have these false identities. And to me, I'm not fooled by anything. Like, I'm going to know who you are when we spend time. I'm not going to pretend like I know who you are. If I see you out and about, it's like, hey, yeah, but I don't know you. I do not know you. We're not close. Do not pretend and act like we're close. Do not pretend like you know who I am. That's just, that is the realest shit ever. Like, that's really how it is. But a lot of people, like guys, I've never even met some people that have me on social media where I come from. And I seen them out and about one night at a club, and this was on New Year's Eve in 2020. I just remember this night. And I kind of knew who they were. They kind of knew who I was from social media. We got each other on social media and stuff like this, but we seen each other. And they just acted like they knew me forever. And I have the more so attitude towards them, like it's nice to meet you and stuff like that. But this is what's going on today. I'm trying to explain it right now to the best of my ability. This is actually what's going on today. People think they know each other without actually knowing each other. And I think we're living in a world today <clears throat> where a lot of people hide a lot of things about themselves because they don't want people to know or to think like who they really, really, really are. And the realest motherfuckers out there in the world aren't going to want to hide because they are either successful or they're not ashamed of who they actually are. But it's these types of people where it's like, it's kind of sus. It's like, bro, you, you really do not know who I am. Please don't act that way. Like, I know you know. It's just weird behavior from these people. It's all a facade. And I'm trying to keep it as real as possible with you guys right now in this video. This is really how it is. You don't just know somebody, like... And you, you don't just get close with somebody either. It's not how it is. You really do gotta spend a wicked amount of time around people to actually have that connection. You really do. You can't just know somebody in a flick. You can't just... Like, it'd be equivalent to this. Let me explain it like this. So let's say I'm following somebody, a music artist that I like on social media, which I do. Let's say I do that. Let's say I paid attention to their journey. I paid attention to their life. I pay attention to who they are because I like what they do. I'm not going to see them in real life and fan out and act like I know who they are. For one, that's disrespectful. And it's silly. It's stupid. They're going to get weirded out. They're going to look at you like, who the F are you? Like, this is what I'm talking about. 
I'm not a fool who think I know who this person actually is. Have I met them personally? Have I spent a lot of time around them to actually get to know them? No, I have not. You could meet them as if you met them for the first time. This is how it should be. This is what real people do. I'm not going to fan out. It's going to be like, I see you. Like, I, I, I've, seen, I've seen a lot of your journey. I know what you do and all this stuff. And mad respect. I love your music and all this stuff. It's nice to meet you. It's not, yeah, I'm going around and I'm acting like I know who they are, clapping their hand. Yeah, I know who you are, this and that, not and this. But you don't know who they are. This is where a lot of people are getting it wrong. People in today's day and age just act and pretend like they know who one another is when you actually do not. It's like this fantasy world everybody is living in when you don't know who they are. Some of you guys might have a fantasy, oh, oh this, is, this is the person you see right here, right now. This is just who I am. I hate to break it to you, but no. I have different, I'm not going to say different personalities, but different, I'm a different person in different situations because it, it, the occasion calls for it. I'm not going to sit here and lift up this couch and start bench pressing it in this moment. I'm not going to be intense like that. I, I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing. It's who I am in this moment. It's not who I am as a whole. The same with the people you know that you might pay attention to what they do. You might have a favorite music artist and you, you think just because you paid attention to their journey and listened to their music as you know who they are. No, you do not. You don't know who they are. You don't. And they are not your friend. They don't know who you are. This is some real shit. You have to really get to know somebody. Face to face, person to person. And then spend a lot of time around them to really pick up and get to know who they are as a person. That's the only way. And the reason why I made this video is because there's too many people in today's day and age that just want to believe they know who everybody is without actually getting to know each other. That's what this social media world did to people. Because you know them on social media, you know them in real life. I've done things on social media, guys, where I get dirty looks in, in public because I posted something good and they didn't like it. Could you imagine getting mad at somebody for posting something on social media that has no... I could see if you, if you targeted somebody and you... You call it somebody else. Of course, someone's going to get mad. But could you effing imagine posting something that's going on in your personal life? It might be something good. You might have posted a cute photo of yourself. Who knows what you did? And this person, and I'm, and, and I'm saying this, explaining it like, I'm explaining, I'm explaining this to like a girl right now, you might have posted a cute photo. Somebody, some other girl, some other guy, who knows, could have get pissed at you. Because you posted something that looks good. And they didn't like it. They're going to give you a dirty look. Could you imagine that? It has nothing to do with them and they're mad at you because of what you did in your personal life. They think they know you. They're emotionally engaged with you when what you did has nothing to do with them what a clown you are a clown people are effed up today man i don't know what it is i don't know why people are stuck in the way in, in their ways it's like everything is just hate today it makes no sense people's minds are so small today bro like so small I'm trying to keep it as real as possible. This is how it is. 85% of the people in this world today is a clown. Period. I stand by what I say. People are just not that smart. I don't know if all, like, I don't know if 85% of the people in the world got dropped as a kid or what. I don't know what's going on, but people need to wake the F up to reality. And start living that way.
How about that? How about that? <clears throat> it just amazes me, bro, how stunned people can really be. It really does. And yeah, you can see people in public. You can chit chatter with them and stuff like this, good vibes, whatever. That's good. That's cool. But I still know there's a different side to you. I'm not going to think that that's who you are. Vice versa, you shouldn't think this is just me either. The way we're bonding in person if we see each other just for a split second and we vibe and we bond. That is a piece of me. Congratulations, you've seen a small piece of me. There's a lot more to go if you really want to get to know who I am. People today are not getting to know one another. That is why I say, <clears throat> don't mess with a whole bunch of people. Pretending like you know everybody. This is how you're going to get caught up. This is how you're going to get bit by a snake. By trusting all the people that you think are, you guys are cool. No. Get to know a certain amount of people on a deep level and bond with them. Get to know them. Have a family with them. Be brothers with a few fellas. Whatever you got to do, whatever, whatever is necessary in your life, but never in your life will you have success with a massive circle of people. It's not going to happen. Small circles create success. Everything else is a disaster. And it will come to an end. In a bad way. So, that's something to think about. And I'm done with this video.